Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back to Enemy Within. We have another terror mission, and the last terror mission was actually pretty terrifying, and so I'm going into this with uh, zero confidence of being successful in hopes that I up my game a little bit and save all these guys. So, let's go. I couldn't bring out uh, Annette because she's in gene modifications. She's in there for like another four days, I think. We have visual on the mission. Brazilian authorities have requested our help, so that's where we're going next. We're picking up civilian comm traffic, indicating alien activity spreading throughout a residential section of the city. All right, let's do this. Operation Cold Justice. I'm hoping that if everything goes smoothly on this terror mission, that we find some more psionic recruits. Strike team is in position near the terror site. Awaiting confirmation. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. All right, we're gonna jump in there with Gussie. And I'm actually surprised that we didn't find anything. Uh, Raidry can take full cover and be invisible. I'm actually kind of surprised that we haven't set off a crew here. This is a little bit tricky, I find. We're gonna overwatch everybody else. Here we go. Whoa. Oh god. My my sworn enemy, the Sectopod, is here. What's it gonna do? Now, if we didn't see it Overwatch, it didn't shoot the laser, and I think it only gets the free Overwatch on the actual laser shot. So, I'm not sure. What I'm gonna try to do is clear out these things, because they're really annoying. Okay, now he overwatched. So we didn't actually discover them, technically. Um, we are gonna try to get the other one. Now it's a lower percentage, but still pretty good. Come on, there it is. Eliminated. And I might as well take the shot here as well. Let's go for it. All right, a big four. Now, where's Ragery? Let's, um... I mean, this thing has to die ASAP. So I'm gonna draw the Overwatch. Get as close as I can to it. And then, I don't know really how we're gonna kill him after this, so Ragery might take another hit, but... She's been pretty comfortable doing that, I think. 270s. Beautiful. Alright, now. I can actually... Mm, no, I can't, because Raidry's there. I'm trying to decide if cover really matters. I might as well grab the half the cover. Move. And just hope that we hit. Come on. Oh, that is beautiful. Can I get close enough? I sure can't. <laughs> we can get close. Closer, though. Only 55. Or I can do up to, like, 3 damage here. Ugh. If I do three and three, that would leave him with three that I would need to get with Sergey, which I could probably get. The two grenades coming, of course, from our two mechs. Instead of potentially missing this, this percentage here, I think I am just going to take the guarantee hit. Hopefully it strikes for three. Beautiful. 
Moving to position. All right, let's do the same. Now it's all on Sergey. No pressure. Except for, you know, the survival of all of your friends at base. Come on! Oh god, that doesn't look good. Oh, my Atlanta, this is not good. Please don't shoot your airstrike. I am grateful that that just happened instead of the airstrike. Oh god. Sergey, keep your head down. Wow. I I suppose I should have taken cover there. That's kind of a bummer. Okay. Well, Raidry, can you at least finish him off? Yeah, keep shooting. Now, heal yourself up. I really should have brought him into cover, but my thought process was just get him literally as close as I could. Because the defense is so crazy high. He survived, and that's what matters. All right, now let's bring Walda in here. A couple guys on the roof that wouldn't be a bad grab. Moving. Moving. I hear either a sectopod or a mectoid. Whoa. Hostile spot. Okay, we got a berserker. I'm okay with that. I'd rather have that than an elite. Nice shooting. Nice shooting. Keep coming, berserker. You're predictable. I like you. I'm actually more intimidated from his buddies that are outside. I think I kind of want to get up here, but I may want to actually do that with a mech so we don't have to go all the way around. We're just going to heal up here. And I probably want to overwatch because I don't know where the other ones went, so... If I take him down with Gussie... 100%. Then I still have options available. Let's see. Let's go here. Grab this civilian. Go! I'm thinking we may want to just hold back here instead of running up there. Potentially setting off a whole other group outside. Let's grab this guy. Oh, am I not? Really? Guess I'm not close enough. Alright, jet boots it is. New position confirmed. On my way. There's three up here we can grab, so. I might as well try it. Got it covered. Let's grab him with Raidry. There we go. And let's go here. Okay, chrysalids. 
is it it's it's kind of sad that like chrysalis are the least scary thing right now but it's kind of true <laughs> heading there now leave this area immediately now, I think what I might do from here is just launch my grenade, do a bunch of damage to these guys. Maybe they even have some friends out there. Target acquired. Oh, they're scattering all over the place. I'm not sure who saw them. They were in sight for somebody. Take a little look see here. I can take one down if I really want. Position Let's grab the door with green. I think I want to take him out with uh actually you know what? We should probably take him out with Ragery. She has the uh the close combat thing anyways. And and Clank doesn't have the um, the penalty on Overwatch, so we're gonna we're gonna hold down one more time. Let's get you inside now. Moving to position. We still have those mutons over here to deal with, and we have the two chrysalids this way. They might go up top, but I don't think they can get to us. Yeah, they're just taking down civilians. Oh, he's so screwed. And them taking down civilians does mean potential zombies. So that's something to consider. Oh no! Oh wow. Oh Jesus. This is really kind of terrifying right now. I'm out of here. And we're gonna blow our last med kit again. Rub some dirt on it, you wimp. <laughs> Do you see what Ragery's been through already? Let's be serial. I think what I might actually do here is just use regular rockets, because there's a bunch of guys back here. And look at the way it like directs itself around everything, it's awesome. Let's do this, and then next turn, I can probably use the Shredder. This is going to deal 12 damage. That's huge. Actually, the Shredder lasts for a little while, so maybe I should do this first, and then it'll take increased damage for my next rocket. Let's do that. Going hot. Now look at this little blaster launcher. It's like, it's not even fair. But it's so awesome. You know, Overwatch, it's kind of what I figured. All right, now I think we probably want to draw him back a bit. But I still want Clank to be in front. So let's do that. I can go and grab this guy with Walda. Get moving. And now I'm thinking we just overwatch. See what this guy does. Uh oh. I'm cool with him going that way. It's the sectopod that I worry about. Ah, oh, that's kind of a waste of a reaction shot. Oh well. Okay. Now, I can never, I, you can just can't be sure if they're overwatched or not. So what I'm gonna do is 
I'm gonna go from here. All right, who do else do we see? Oh, the zombie. Well, I'm okay with this. Let's uh, let's take the two at 54. God, I swear she never misses. It's taking the increased damage, which is huge. And I am going to use the rocket again. Plus, it will take care of the zombie in the back. Rockets away. So it'll probably... This is a 12 damage rocket. It'll probably take like 9 because of the increased. Oh, that'll work. That'll work just fine. Carla, you are my new sectopod destroyer. Been on her legs. All right, Petrov, go and grab this guy here. Get to the ship and keep your head down. Got it covered. Now, why is this guy not saved? I guess he's just like he's panicked. Headed there now. Let's see if we find these guys out here. There they are. Well, hello. It's funny that I can't see them, but. Launching proximity mine. I'm assuming they're going to be moving here. You know what? Let's actually... Let's make them come over here. Oh, Jesus. Another one? It's just, like, excessive, man. So I guess it's safe to say that we're going to experience three sectopods every terror mission. Ouch. That's a pretty bad miss. I'm assuming he's going to want to move and Petrov should take care of him. There you go. Now run into cover, you big oaf. They got me flanked. All right. Now this is a bit of an issue. <laughs> um, I do have full cover here. So, but do I have enough shots? I can kill him with the plasma pistol. Still be in full cover. It's up to 10, but I'm getting a critical, so this will kill him. Let's take it. And now I think I'm just going to try to get up close to this guy. Suck up the damage with green. Take the overwatch if necessary. Which is probably happening. That's your job, Greens. Take the hits. Poof. Oh, that is nice. Only like 25 more of those needed. That's affirmative. Alright. I could have shot from back there. I should have checked my percentage. But let's just go for it. It's looking good. Oh, this is a nice shot. Just through the crowd like that. I'll take the crit too, maybe. Oh my god, you're the best. Now... <laughs> see, the problem is... If I kill him, he's going to take 5 damage, but that's less damage than he would take otherwise. So we're going to try to kill him, I think. Oh, wow. Can I get anywhere here that can see him? 
Moving. Come on, boom, boom. 65%, baby. Come on. There it is. And I only took three because I'm so close. And it hurt their other guys. So the argument there for green is... Oh, that's not cool. The ar argument for green is... Um, I'm going to take damage anyways. And I'd rather him... Just blow up and hurt me once than him hitting me and probably somebody else because they typically uh they typically switch that up can i pound this thing into the ground oh wow okay that's embarrassing yeah no fair enough let's just uh, do it the old-fashioned way Now this one needs to die. Excellent okay. Work. Not All bad. It's actually probably the most civilians we've saved the whole time. And that was pretty quick, so we will, uh... We'll keep going. And see what happens next. Um, let's, yeah, see, Petrov is the one that hurts the most, unfortunately, because I would like to put Petrov into the tank, but we'll have to hold off on that. And panic's decreased. I didn't even Remember, know panic could get any lower. Will be watching. Now, come on. There we go, Gustafson. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yes. Who else can I throw in here? Let's throw in, uh, Danker. Let's throw in Beagle. Let's throw in Spencer. There we go. And then now we need to go on missions to build up their psionic capabilities. Oh, wow. Okay, that was fast. It's in Canada. I'm okay with this. Crew size of 14. A Mutom, Mutom Berserker. This is okay. Uh, Norberg, you're coming out for sure. Thenny, have a seat for now. Let's, uh... Oh, she's still in for two days, but... We can bring him out. So, Mind Freight is. And it's actually good, because he's got the, uh... He's got the Snapshot. So, he becomes a little bit better in these scenarios. Uh, should I buy another... I don't know, maybe I just shouldn't take Tufson on this one. I like scouting with her, though. Who else would I bring? We could bring Thenny, bring another rocket out there. Could bring some of these guys. Maybe we should bring Tarmissa instead. She could still use a promotion. And we'll go scope and flashbang. And then with Gust Gust of Sin, we'll take all of Gussie's old stuff. And where's the scope? Have I dished out all my scopes? I sure have. Well, I'm just going to buy another one. I find with the two slots, right now at this point, it's probably best to have everybody with scopes. There's probably an argument to be made that you should probably go with, like, additional armor, stuff like that. But, I don't know. I personally think that, that a scope just... It, it, it just helps everybody. Like, that plus 10 seems minuscule, but an extra 10, 10% is, is big. So, uh, let's go. We're gonna try to use Gustafson's ability as often as possible. There's probably gonna be Meld to be had, which, uh, Ragery will 
primarily be responsible for. Dropship has arrived. The yep. drop site for this operation will be in Canada. And look at, of course, Canada is just like empty, no the mountains, no nothing. Landed in a remote area. It's beautiful. It should help to minimize any risk to the surrounding community. It and looks like Saskatchewan, where I'm from originally. <laughs> like it's just completely flat. HQ, this is Big Sky. We are in position and awaiting further orders. Roger that, Big Sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. All right, it does look like we should probably head this way. I'm not seeing any melt canisters on the edge of the fog, so. There's one. Only three turns though, so we're gonna have to boot it. We'll get everybody into the uh, the general vicinity. Rolling out. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Eyes peeled. Feldposten. Now, going any closer, we're probably gonna find something that we're not happy about. There we go. Okay, so we have three elites. And of course, they all discard that thing. 22%, like, I wonder why that's so low. Is that high cover and their built-in defenses? Jesus. Okay, well. Let's mine Frey one. See if he freaks out, you never know. Like, these are incredibly low chances here. I might have to just say, screw the meld. I should probably fire first and then do this. Um, even though it's only 10%. But it's going to get rid of this cover, too. Let's see. Maybe what I do is use the collateral damage to try and hit all of them. And I'll blow up the meld canister. Uh, I can't quite... Oh, there we go. I I mean, it's got to be done. I can't just sit here and then take three elite shots, so... Commander, it would be preferable if we attempted to retrieve oh, those and then, canisters rather oh, than destroying it. them. I guess that uses up a full turn. Well, now... We're just gonna have to group assault these guys here. We'll rapid fire. Actually, we could probably get closer. Let's see if we're gonna blow any more up, though. Boom Boom could blow more up. I could get a kill with Ragery, and I could probably get a kill with Tarmissa. Then we still only have Boom Boom. Who could maybe get the other kill? Maybe that's what we should do, is try to get this one that's, like, in this bizarre level of cover. There we go. All right, now, we are taking a bit of a risk because we're just going to be dashing into, like, an open level of cover here, but this is our best chance. I'm trying to save our rockets and not blow them right away. 77, 73. Let's go for it. Oh, that'll work. We need a big critical here, which I don't think we're going to get. So, wow. I'm just surprised we got the hit. 
I'm assuming... Okay, he's gonna use a grenade. That's interesting. Instead of moving, which I guess he's smart enough to, to know that you'd be screwed. We're not gonna mess around. Actually... Hold on a second. These guys need promotions anyways. So let's focus on them. 54, let's give it a chance. Oh, that's gonna miss. So now we'll try it with Bloodfest. Just get right in there. There we go. Heading out. Moving out. And we'll reload Clank. So I'm still learning things like as we go, like with the collateral damage that uses up your whole turn. And it, I'm sure it's happened before, but I've never noticed it in context where I wanted to use a grenade on my second part of my turn, if that makes sense. So that's what I love about XCOM is, at least for me, because I have such a poor memory that everything just seems new all the time and it's uh, super exciting. <laughs> I'm gonna stack up in the door here and then uh, we can probably head in. Look Let's see if I can get everybody here. Actually, Rager, you want to go and take a look and see if there's anything else happening? Mm, maybe not right now. Let's just grab the wall. On my way. Yes, Commander. We have the mine fray back. Affirmative. I'm going to use that at every opportunity that I have. Oh, hi there. Okay. These guys are like st stuck behind a wall or something. Oh, that is a rare miss from Ragery. Gotta say. Okay, let's mine fray. It's only 44%, but... Oh, shit! Well... Who else needs to kill? Bloodfest, you want this one too? Wow. A 91% chance missed. Fine. Ragery, you put him down. We can't see the others, so we're probably just going to overwatch here. I'll grab some level of cover. Here they come. He could be pretty quickly decimated. There it is. And if the other one comes, then Clank can still go for him. That ain't gonna happen. Let's go looking for him. Where? Oh, no way. Unsuspecting little muton. Hiding behind the log. Can you say toasted? Target pacified. All right, let's get to the next one. Roger, Dodger. Ten four. Everybody in. There's something over here. It seems close. Alright, Meld is that way. Do I have anywhere... Oh, I don't know. Is that full cover? I feel like that would be full cover. Do I risk it though? Uber. 
there. This is full cover. Let's let's check this out. Oh my god. That run and gun thing got me again. Okay, well I found the melt at least. So it's weird because sometimes on run and gun, I get the mimetic skin, and sometimes I don't. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna have to get rid of this um, Overwatch with lightning reflexes here. So. Now we know there's a commander out here as well. Although I don't see him. So we're just going to focus on what we know for now. Now I can come and punch him and take care of that business. Come on, green. Where did that little guy go? Oh, that's so sick. I wish I could do that more often. I'm gonna go this way and see if he ran down here. He didn't. I'm gonna launch a mine over here, just in case. Whoa. Okay. That was not what I was hoping for exactly. Ten four. Okay, this I didn't actually want him to go down there, so I don't know where that freaking thing is though. I'm rolling. Oh well. We're gonna have to hope that he makes a mistake and runs right into us. He's not doing anything. It's weird. Alright, well, I'll happily take that. But we are missing a sectoid commander somewhere. Did he run, like, all the way over here somehow? What in the hell? I don't even know how that ended up there, but... That's really bizarre. Moving to position. Where? Oh, really? That's just great. All right, can I panic this little guy? Fire up. Oh, that is dealing some serious damage. And it blew up the thing on the roof. Now that he's panicked, though. Wait a second. Oh, I can't get into position because I'm way down there. All right, let's just get Gustafson over here then. Got it. Moving. I, I boom Boom can probably kill this one. Mind you, Tarmissa still needs the upgrade or the promotion. So perhaps we do this. Fin del juego. Necesito un poco de munición. Moving. And now we're going to head towards the next area. And just get everybody as far as we can. I'll uh, take one turn here to reload Tarmissa. And then run her over next time. On the move. Oh god, someone sounds pissed. Whoa, how is someone behind us? 
out in the woods, maybe? I guess it's possible. Let's put Rob here. Oh, I didn't want to didn't want to do that. Oh, Robbie. You weren't supposed to go through the door, pal. Okay. We uh, have to make this work. And we will. This will make everybody take more damage. Uh, that's probably a good thing. Instead of the 12. Yeah. Because the 12 won't kill them anyways. It'll kill one. Actually, that might be okay. Take increased damage. Yeah, it's, it's always such a tough call. I'm gonna do it like this. Going hot. Alright, now Gustafson. Zero percent to mind fray that one, of course. Let's kill this guy with the mind fray, shall we? That's awesome. Now. What options do we all have? We gotta make sure that we do this correctly. Tarmis is way back here. She does have the running gun. Let's actually just use that. If she can get the kill here with the rapid fire, maybe get a promotion out of it. Oh, and boom! Promotion. Very happy. And tell you what, Raidri, I know you probably really want this. And I do trust you to do it, so go for it. Oh my god! A 19 critical, are you kidding me? That is crazy. That is absolute insanity. There's probably more down here. I should take a turn though to just collect our thoughts on the matter. That's affirmative. Take a turn to reload. Might take another turn to reload everybody else. And that'll wear off the cooldown on uh, Gustafson's uh, Mind Fray. Reload you, reload you, reload you, reload you. God, someone sounds pissed out there. Okay, what the hell? Let's go looking for whatever's out here, because this is bizarre. I'm gonna go here. That's good. It's gotta be down. Like it's gotta be outside then. On my way. Around the corner. Moving to designated coordinates. Definitely don't want to check on my last turn here, but. Yep, they gotta be there. And that's where we're gonna go. What the hell? That is so bizarre. Um, let's jump down here. There we go. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Now, I do want a chance to use his mind fray. That's affirmative. So I'm gonna bring everybody over to the point where we can't see them, hopefully. 
But we're still in a position where when we want to kill them, we can. So, especially with Carla. And yeah, we'll overwatch. I'm sure they'll move. Yeah. There you go, everybody. Feed. <laughs> Leave something for Gustafson. Okay. Take the weak one. He's yours. Consume him. It's beautiful. And I think this calls for a punch through the tree. Celebratory, in a way. Oof. Alright. We nailed it, Commander. We sure did. That felt good. It felt real good. Gustafson got to use that thing like three times. I think on Annette's mission she used it, what, twice? And then had to like basically stay away because she was down to one hit point. The aliens better get it. There together, we go. Or we're gonna mop the floor with them. Okay, so he's leveling up. I'm gonna hold off on putting anybody in until they until we at least get one person to be um like maxed out in their psionic abilities. Now there's a couple of decisions to make here. Science inspiration, it removes mind frame panic from all allies within three tiles, strengthen their will. Uh, it's a four turn cooldown. Whereas this causes um, panic on its following turn if the will is overcome. Robotic enemies are immune. It's only a two turn cooldown. So I think I'm going to go with this just so I can use it more often and level it up. Uh, the, the situations in which science inspiration becomes useful are very, very low. Anyways, so we're gonna go side panic. Bloodfest, still working our way up to uh, to the colonel position, but I'm gonna take close combat specialist. I should probably build her an alloy cannon as well, but we'll make that decision if we end up taking out. Uh, let's sell a bunch of these things. If we end up taking out two assaults, then I will just build another one. I've got money that I don't even know how to spend. And overall, things are pretty good. I'm just trying to get through some side testing, some gene mods, and find out who's going to be our star, basically. Annette is now done gene modification. I'm hoping we get side testing here. Okay, done out Donker. So these are all of Annette's crew, basically. Which makes me wonder, like, without progeny, how, like, none of these guys would be gifted, which would be really scary, if you think about it. Um, yeah, that would be quite bad. I am going to just throw in everybody else that hasn't been in. And after this, like, literally everyone's been in. <laughs> so... It's pretty surprising, the low levels of success in there. I don't know, that must be an impossible thing. Because uh, I usually don't have that problem on Classic. This is the furthest I've ever been on an impossible playthrough, so... Or maybe that's an enemy within thing, I don't know. It could go either way. I don't like that these guys aren't all colonels, either, that's concerning. But uh, we gotta do what we gotta do. So, we'll probably get to the council report here. Incoming transmission. I don't see any reason why they we wouldn't be happy with us. I'm impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Yeah. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. So I can't upgrade our mech. It's gonna touch, take forever to get there. So I probably just have to accept that. Um, I should spend the money on like gene modifications, especially for uh, these guys. So Annette's got the neural damping, which is good. 
Uh, Gustafson should probably grab it as well. Excellent. We'll begin prepping the candidate for surgery immediately. I will notify you when the genetic modification process is completed. Hopefully that finishes before anything happens here. Nope, not quite. We got a small scout. Um... I almost kind of want to just, like, let the scout go so that we get him back. And then we'll have two psionic guys out there. I don't know. Maybe that's crazy. Bangs out. All right. It's only six. Let's uh, let's squeeze this one in here too. And what we're gonna do is uh, let's sit, Ragery. We'll grab Annette. She's actually all loaded up already, which is kind of cool. And we'll grab Dunout, our other assault. What we're going to do is give the Alloy Cannon to Tarmissa. And we'll do the Plasma Rifle over here. Actually, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do both. I've got the money. Let's not be cheap about it. I'm also really being um, hesitant that I'm not just, like, drawing this out. Because... Uh, we could go into the Golub Chamber and, like, make dreams come true, but I would really like to get a, a soldier up to level 3. I just think that that's, like, the best way to do it, so that you can use all of their abilities, especially on the last mission. So, uh, I hope that you guys are okay with that. Let's do this. Let's switch this over. I'm gonna take a scope and take a... You know what? Yeah, that's fine. So, you've got psionics. Maybe instead of the alien grenade, i give you something else. Mimp beacon, maybe? Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Let's, uh, let's roll out with this crew. It's a very- it's only six people on this ship, or six aliens. So, I really feel like, uh, we can squeeze this one in as well. It might be a long episode, but... We might as well do it. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Our target touched down inside a major urban center. Now, we don't have anybody with um, mimetic skin except for... I shouldn't say that we don't have anyone. Boom Boom has it. Copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. So, let's actually go here. Oh, I find, see Mel right there. That's pretty handy. Yes, sir. And we already found some enemies. We could probably just go right in there and deal with them. Uh, let's do this. <laughs> let's set a little bit of a trap for them. Nope. There we go. Mine deployed. Now, when we show up, they're gonna be all like, what? When do I get to shoot an alien? I see one over here. You get to melt them with your mind, it's even better. All right, here we go. They're moving around the side. Let's take this one. And that would be her third mind frame total. So I'm hoping that this gets her a promotion. Nope, not quite. All right, now... 
Cover doesn't matter for this guy. Really, it doesn't. I'm on the move. So what I am going to try and do is draw him towards us. We got to hit him first. Dunedin. Hmm. What's your chance, Tarmissa? Let's rapid fire him with the pistol. We just need one person to hit him. There we go. Now come at us. Still only 60. Uh oh. We could be in trouble here. I don't know if this is the time. We might have to hold off on that mind fray for a second here. We're gonna need two major hits here. There we go. And then, just so that we can make sure this works. Alright, here's our two psionic guys up up front, so... Where's Boom Boom? Let's get you over to the meld. Ten four. Visual on the goods. That's two enemies out of a potential... What is it? A potential six, I no think it was? Problem. Oh, and that's got it too. I completely forgot about that. I'll cover you from here. Now, the meld is very important to me right now, too, so... Heading to that location. I really want to find the other one. You hear that? Sure do. So it's actually better even with um, a net to go and scout for everything because she's going to stay okay, invisible and still open doors, sprint super far. She's probably the best person we have for this. She might be very crucial for us. Um, Can I get let's take a peek. Wow, we didn't find anyone. That's actually kind of impressive. Roger, Dodger. Huh. Moving to death I'm honestly to surprised that we haven't found them, but there's there are only six, so they are down to four at this point. Yeah, Commander. Found the meld. Found the location of it. Let's grab Step this off. area. And then with Duran, we can actually run super far. Still can't see the meld. I'm running for it. Okay. Oh, found them all. That's great. Hey, what are we dealing with? An ethereal, an elite, a berserker, and a muton on this side. If I can just aggro these guys, I would be cool with it. Moving to designated position. Doesn't look like that's going to happen just yet, but... Ubicación 
Let's see if this will do it. Nope. Alright. Let's get everyone out here then. On your order. Oh, here we go. Overwatch, baby. Now, that might grab all of them. But... We should be okay, I think. I'm hoping we didn't grab all of them. Alright, we didn't. Okay, where's that damn meld? There it is. Now, I can't go there until this guy is dead, though. I could mine fray him. I do need to do it. Let's do it. I have a special nightmare just for you. Sleep. Now, can Carla get there? Not quite. We're probably best just bringing Carla up here for her rockets at some point. Let's, uh, let's draw this guy in. Hopefully we hit him. Come over here. Let's see if one of these assaults want to take a shot at you. Oh, really? You're dodging him. Interesting. Oh, he, if he runs through here, it's going to hurt him. Oh, you're so screwed. Alright. We kind of didn't want that, I guess, because I should have used Donkers. Donk I'm saying that way wrong, but I should, probably shouldn't have done it that way, is what I'm trying to say. Running. I'm on it, Commander. Um, I think we should keep everybody over here. We know there's only two more. Let's reload as well. Now, if we can get Annette over here. Oh, that is just beautiful. In five turns. Okay, that's the first, like, double meld mission in quite a while that we've got. I'm on the move. On the move. So let's work in through the front here. I do want to keep our psionic guys uh, ahead of the pack. Moving to position. But being that it's an elite and an ethereal, I'm not sure how... Affirmativo. How much I should rely on those attacks. It's kind of going to depend on how everybody else does. Ich mache mich auf den Weg. All right, grab that. And now, sure head in here. Safe? Stay concealed. Probably find these guys. What? Okay. Boom, boom. Can you go and find these guys? Yes, sir. Well, where the hell did they go? Moving to position. Voy hacia allá. In order, Commander. They must have just ran. Moving to position. I just oh, shot out. Commander. Scanning. Oh, what? That is really loud, too. Bring me all kinds of shots off, though. Now, this will be interesting. Okay, so 
here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna shred, for sure. Won't even know what hit him. Now, Durand. If you could mind fray that guy, that would be ideal. 100%, there it is. Take it. Still no promotion on that, though. That's bizarre. Now, mind fraying this thing is just probably not going to happen. So instead of messing around with it, I might just get you in there to deal with it. Oh, shit. Oh, man. They're repositioning on us. Now, do I want to... I think I'm going to do the same thing. Vamos. Tarmissa. I wonder if there's a way to figure out if they're going to be trying to deflect the attack. See, like... How many times can they do this? There we go. The sides. Forty percent is not great. I kind of want to flame them, but I don't think I'm going to be able to reach from here. A grenade might have to be the way it's done. Oh no, we're doing it. And because of that Illyrium Jelly, our guys are safe. Uh, Another one there down. we go. Good work, Commander. So, hopefully we got some promotions just, you know, because we tried hard. With the, uh, with the psionic stuff, but... It's tough slugging out there. Might just have to focus on uh, Gustafson at this point. Excellent work, oh, here we go. Okay. I'm impressed you were able to recover so much of the melt substance without any casualties. Thanks, Fallon. You're the best. So with that, it's pretty safe to say then that I'm gonna focus on Annette and Gustafson and just uh, bring them out every time until one of them reaches. The level that we want. So we should be able to get him out of the gene mods here. See how our next batch of psionic testing went. Oh, look at this. Cast and Sergei. That's cool. That's cool. I'll be honest though, I probably am not going to uh, focus on these guys. It was just cool to put everybody through there. JP Cast, one of our earlier recruits. Um, that's really cool. You're gifted, man. That's awesome. 47 will, but hey, man. You've got the special kind of will in there. Alright, let's see what kind of trouble we can find. Probably a terror mission. Cordoba. 